I just want to say that I'm the statistic that you hear about. I'm one of the millions of people who don't have health insurance. And um, I'm 49 years old. I'm a working fine art photographer, and I don't have health insurance, and I've been without it for over 14 years. Um, if you've never lived without health insurance, you probably have no idea what that really means to a person's day-to-day -day life. So let me just say that it affects virtually every part of it. It's not only just an everyday worry, um, but it affects how I can live my life every day, even with simple choices that insured people never have to think twice about. I can't go out with friends to go rollerblading in the park, so I might fall and break my wrist. And uh, at one point, I bought a bicycle. Um, so I try to stay healthy and exercise, so I bought a bicycle, but I was afraid to ride it, and the whole way riding at home, all I kept thinking about was, I don't have insurance, I don't have insurance, I don't have insurance, as I'm riding through city traffic. And two days later, I had to return the bike to the store by, via the subway because I just couldn't take the risk of riding a bicycle. And because that kind of risk, if I had a serious injury, I'd lose my home. And um, the only reason I even have a studio apartment is because I got on the property ladder a long time ago. And please know that I don't have, I don't not have health insurance because I'm irresponsible or a spendthrift or I'm not out buying $10 Cosmos and have a closet full of designer clothes or I'm spending it all on vacations or things like that. In my entire adult life, I've only ever had one vacation. It was a four day vacation. Um, I live frugally in a studio apartment and I can't afford it. And I grew up in a middle class home. I'm the same age now, 49, that my father was when he died from a massive heart attack. And, but because I have no health insurance, all I can do is hope that that doesn't happen to me. Um, I don't have a doctor. I can't even get basic checkups that an insured person has and that every expert says you're supposed to have annually because it wouldn't really matter if I had heart disease or cancer because I couldn't get it treated. And, you know, all I can do is live, try to live healthily, which I try. I don't smoke, don't drink, try to eat right, exercise, and just hope that my luck holds out. That is a very Well, I haven't been without insurance for 14 years, which is very good luck for me. Uh, but during my transition from being a full-time employee to being a freelancer, I, uh, my COBRA continuation was coming to an end from my previous employer. And I just experienced a lack of coverage for simply two months, just two months and in that, in that short period of time. It literally wiped out everything I saved for the year and a half I worked. You know, uh, not getting treatment wasn't an option, so I just simply had to pay. And uh, why now I'm grateful that I have the insurance of the union, that too is, um, it, it is difficult to, to afford, simply to pay the premium, but I, I have no choice. I must pay the premium. I could never imagine being in a situation without coverage and having astronomical uh, medical expenses that simply siphoned everything out of my only security, which was the savings I, I worked hard to uh, establish for a year and a half. So um, it's just so critical to have that insurance. I mean, I'm thankful I can pay the premium because it's the, the, the less of the two evils. Uh, no insurance and massive medical bills or uh, an unaffordable monthly premium. There's just no option I, I have to pay that. 